Well, we are learning some new details, not only about the attack, but also about the alleged gunman. We're learning that Michael Goodman has no criminal background, but does have a valid FOID card. What we're also learning is that it appears as such that he allegedly targeted this child before opening fire on him. What we don't know is still what sparked the attack. Prosecutors did not say why they think Michael Goodman intentionally shot and killed his nine-year-old neighbor, Sarabi Medina, as a Cook County judge denied bail for the Chicago man accused in the slaying. The victim's father shouted to the defendant, asking what he was doing. The defendant ignored the victim's father and instead followed the victim towards the vestibule of her building. Dressed in a black t-shirt and green shorts, the 43-year-old computer programmer appeared in bond court this afternoon. The left side of his face still healing from a gunshot wound he suffered when the girl's father tackled him during the attack as the two men fought for the weapon he used. Goodman now faces a first-degree murder charge accused of killing the Portage Park girl. I'm very angry and I, I honestly don't even want to live here anymore. The shooting happened just before 10 o'clock Saturday night in the 3500 block of North Long Avenue on the city's northwest side where the victim and her alleged killer both lived. Prosecutors say it was after the child bought ice cream for her and her dad at a nearby ice cream truck that a shot rang out. The victim's father told her to go back to their apartment. Just then, the group says they saw Goodman emerge from his apartment building armed with a handgun walking toward the girl. While the victim's father ran to his daughter, he observed the defendant raise the firearm, point it at the victim, and shoot the victim in the head. Goodman was wounded when the girl's father tackled him and the gun fired, striking the defendant in the face. Sarabi later died of her injuries at an area hospital. Her death comes after the family lost her mother to gun violence a few years ago. Meanwhile, a memorial in the girl's neighborhood continues to grow. She was friendly. She always smiled. She was kind. Now, what we're also learning is that when the court finished today, the public defender who is representing Goodman at this hour asked for protective custody as he heads down to the medical unit inside the Cook County Jail. The next court date is August 23rd. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.